Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at Filmora 10.5, the latest version of Wondershare Filmora Video Editor. Okay, so we are going to try new feature in this software. So, uh, what is the, what are the new feature and is this worth to upgrade or, or stuff like that? Uh, because I I know that uh, there's some information about this uh, new version on the Facebook group and also on their their on their website, and I downloaded the software and upgrade to this new version and I found something that you should know before you want to upgrade to this uh, new version, something that uh, interesting and something is annoying, and for me. For me as a tutorial maker, I think uh, it is more annoying for me uh, because they change the folder name and uh, some folder disappear and they integrate it, uh, integrate the, the uh, film stock which is, a, which is a subscription service into the software, okay? marketing trick or stuff like that. So it is annoying for me. Okay, I wish I didn't do the upgrade. Uh, although I have some uh, audio effect and some uh, funny AI portrait and uh, stuff like that. Okay. Okay, let's go to the software. Uh, okay, so here I am in um, my Filmora 10.5. So if you are in, in the older version, you can easily go to the help page here. And then you need to click here, check for update uh, to find this new version. And uh, you can download the software directly uh, from their website or at the link in the description to download the installation file and when you install the software it will be 10.5 okay and click here to check for update and then uh, there will be a notification like what i'm uh, showing you on the screen and you, you know all the new feature of the program okay so the first new feature is the integration of film stock into the software so for me i think it is annoying because they are trying to uh, marketing their subscription service uh, with Filmstop, I think it's a, it's a good uh, subscription uh, plan, subscription service. By the way, um, not everybody is willing to purchase uh, their subscription. It is about uh, 60, 60 US dollar per year. And I think it's, uh, it is affordable. But uh, for only the the one who want to create a um, uh, video with um, with many special effects and and templates or stuff like that. But for a normal YouTuber or for me, I don't want to to purchase film stock, of course. And now uh, they put everything inside the software here. For example, if you go to the title and then go to the recommended uh, folder and you see a lot of things here very interesting here by the way if you see this icon uh, that is the premium service uh, meaning that you have to purchase the subscription then you can use it by the way for example if you double click here you can download this one uh, to your computer and install it in the in the software and then you can drag and drop it uh, on the timeline and there will be a notification to show you you that this is a paid resource and you can try it and purchase it before export and i think it is very annoying it is annoying for me and for many of you because we don't want to purchase this one and why they keep keep putting uh, things that we have to purchase to use in the software that we already purchased and i think wondershare should stop uh, doing a marketing uh, marketing campaign like um, like this okay they, they can advertise somewhere on the website and and maybe in some message and uh, here inside the software but not here at, at the effect folder okay and if we want to try it okay uh, we want to try it for example and then uh, this is the gaming set and FPS title or stuff like that and if we export export the project for example this is a project and when we want to export uh, they will need they will need more time to validating the resource and stuff like that and now they will say that oh you are using a uh, paid service from film stock and asking you to purchase the subscription service okay that is annoying right and now if you want to export you have to remove it so 
All I need to do is to press the export button and they open the export tab where I can do more with the setting, not this Skype stuff, validating and uh, purchase or not. Uh, hey, you want to purchase? Hey, Jackie, you want to purchase? Or you have to remove the effect. Oh, okay. So I have to remove the and export. Then I have to double check my video again because, okay, I have just add this effect into my video. And now I, I have to double check. Uh, what is the video look like without the effect right or I can click the purchase and you know that this is uh, when I click the purchase button uh, it will be in the purchase page so I let me show you the the price is around 60 US dollar for one AI pack and it will double check for example here okay so you can see here they have different plans uh, for months and quarterly and annual plans and you see here 120 US dollar for one year access to AI portrait add-on and one year access to film stock standard access and you can click the buy now button here okay so for me it is annoying because uh, they ask us to purchase this, uh, the service all the time all the time and why we have to suffer from that okay so that is the first film stock in integration into Filmora 10.5 and for me it is annoying and one share should stop doing this because uh, we already purchased the software and uh, we have the software if you want to marketing for something if you want to promote something you have to promote on your website not inside the software because it look messy and I, I think it is it is not a professional way to do a marketing campaign campaigns for the for the subscription service all right that is the first thing it is annoying for me okay and now uh, we have this notification I already have my account login here uh, I log into my account here and and they say that okay if you have purchased one to share for more 10 you can now export without watermark or if you haven't yet click here to purchase the software then uh, what is going on with my export button I press the export button and they validating the resource and they asked me to purchase and they asked me to remove the effect I use in my project and now uh, they say that oh, okay have you purchased the software I already purchased it right and I have my account here activated and why they ask asking me this this one and now I can click the export again okay so what happened if I click the export again validating the resource and please wait a moment what is, what is this is a very stupid process I think okay and they asked me okay to remove and export and re-edit and purchase again what the hell okay I can click and remove and export okay now it go to my export tab so let's just make make it a simple solution when I want to export the project just click the export okay and now it will open the export tab here by the way it is hanging here okay so now I have the export tab here that is the most annoying things for me when they integrate the things that I don't buy okay I don't want to buy uh, let's close it one and the second thing uh, which is also very annoying for me as a tutorial maker is that I change the folder name here uh, if you remember in my previous uh, tutorial whenever we access to the audio or title or transition uh, title or transition or stuff like that we have only three folder the favorite one and the included folder now they they change it to download okay we have a download a new folder name here and recommended uh, folder and now we have different folder subfolder here and I think it's it is very annoying when they they have a new version and they change the folder name and it is kind of uh, very annoying for me as a tutorial maker because uh, when I ask my audience to go to this folder and uh, find the effect here I want to do uh, I want to show them exactly the step-by-step -step tutorial so they they just go to that folder now the included folder disappear it is not here anymore and it's just Filmora 10.5 it is not Filmora 11 or Filmora 12 
And why do they have to <laughs> to, to rearrange everything? And now I need to make more tutorial, upgrade the upgraded tutorial. Because when I asked my audience to go to the included folder, and now where's the included folder? It is very annoying for me. Okay. By the way, uh, that is the uh, the new feature uh, in Filmora 10.5. The integration of the uh, film stock and they change the folder name here. Okay. So uh, for your information, if you don't want to see all this kind of stuff, uh, premium plans or standard plan, you can click here at the view tab here and then you select only free so all the free uh, resources you can use on your video if you don't have a film stock subscription service okay so if you click free and now you can see only the free version free pack and free template uh, right inside here and also in the transition is you do the same okay so click here and always try free uh, select free to show show only the uh, the asset that you can use for your video. Otherwise, when you click the export, it will validating the resource and ask you to purchase it. Okay, and we can delete here. So that is a new feature. And the next thing, uh, they talk about the AI portrait. So we can go here, uh, check uh, check them uh, here at the effect, and we have the AI portrait. So this is the AI portrait. So we have all this stuff and again it is not free all this all these effects are not free and i think it's interesting this one the human segment uh, segmentation station, meaning that you can remove the background without green screen and i think it's a very interesting feature by the way we have to purchase it uh, this is not a free uh, free feature and you can uh, see here uh, it will automatically remove the background uh, from your video like this uh, let me see it here uh, if I drag and drop it uh, directly to my video uh, here at uh, this one I want to try it again it's paid resource and it can remove the, the, the background uh, around my body and uh, I think it's very nice and doing a good job so uh, we don't need green screen anymore uh, to have a to remove the background and we have the human borders you can add the border to around your body like this and you can add human glitch and human uh, human uh, human noises and stuff like that okay so this is the ai portrait uh, which is very interesting feature by the way it is not a free feature in in this new version okay and uh, this is uh, interesting ar stickers so the AR sticker is completely free. So we have more sticker to put on your face and they use motion tracking and uh, also elements. Uh, so the integration, integration of motion tracking and elements. For example, here I add, add the bear cheek, bear cheeks around my body. And let's see it. Okay. So all you need to do is to drag and drop it or, or on your video. So you see here, here, this is big eye and be a chick. So it's, it's kind of funny sticker uh, attached to your face. And surprisingly, it is free. We don't have to pay for this. So thank you Wondershare for this feature. Okay, you can add emoji also. It will be around your face like this. So it's very interesting, especially for those of you who want to uh, create video for TikTok or short or stuff like that. Okay, so that is the sec second or uh, that is the third new feature in Fibora 10.5. And now we come to the final, final new feature, audio effect. And they have echo and lobby and big room and small room phone. Now we have five more, five more audio effect for your uh, video. And I think it's interesting and again, uh, all of them are free and very interesting uh, you can uh, double click you can double click at the audio effect on your on your on your on your on your hit play on your imagination hit play on your imagination 
Hit play on your imagination. Very nice, right? So when you want to, to add the audio effect to your video or to a part of the video or stuff like that, you can split your video like this. Uh, this is the video and I want to split it and I can delete all the effect inside. Uh, and then uh, all you need to do is to drag and drop the audio effect. For example, I want to create the echo for my voice. Here I can drag and drop it directly to my video and we, it will apply the echo effect. Uh, in my video and uh, here's the effect uh, let's listen uh, with the, the, the read and write speed up to 1000 megabit per, per second it's super fast and okay so that is that is very nice right by the way you can adjust the uh, the uh, the echo effect uh, inside inside the, your video by double click at the video and then you can go to the audio tab here and at the audio tab uh, we have this one the audio echo effect and you can adjust the delay time and decay factor stuff like that decay factor okay so i think it's uh, very interesting and uh, it is nice that they offer this uh or all this effect for free uh, hopefully they will add more and more audio effect uh, into the program for free of course don't ask us to pay for for some stuff like that okay so that is everything about this uh, Filmora 10.5 I hope uh, this video give you enough information uh, about this version uh, if you want to uh, upgrade to this version or, or not it's up to you okay and thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye bye